Hi, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about measuring in Blender. In case you are not aware, I'm an architect and I have been using Blender for the past 20 years. Uh, uh, the first version of Blender that I started to use was Blender 2.35 and during this period, this time, I had multiple opportunities to give uh, workshops, classes uh, to fellow architects, engineers, interior designers, uh, teaching them how to use Blender, uh, how to integrate Blender into their work. And one of the first questions that I always get is how do I measure things in Blender? And this is what it's uh, what I'm about to show you in this tutorial. Let me give you a few options and explain how you can uh, measure anything in Blender using just the standard tools. Uh, I won't be using any add-ons or any external resources, just uh, the vanilla Blender, if you will. Uh, I'm, I'll be using Blender 4.2 for this tutorial. And I have three options here, three uh, small, uh, just simple shapes to demonstrate how you can measure things in Blender. You can keep track of all of uh, the keys and shortcuts that I'll be using uh, here on my lower left corner. I just enabled the screencast keys. And one of the first things that you have to do uh, if you want to start using Blender as a design tool is to verify your units. By default, whenever you open Blender for the first time or if you never make uh, any type of changes uh, in relation to units, you will have Blender using the metric system and meters. You can make changes to that using the properties editor. Here in the scene tab, you will find your units options. And from here, you can change, for instance, from metric to imperial, or if you wanna change your lengths, uh, your uh, distances from meters to something like millimeters, which is useful for 3D printing and for woodworking, so, uh, depending on the scale of the, of the object that you are trying to create, you might want to make changes here. And for uh, if you are in North America and you are working with architectural models, you can, you, you can choose Imperial. Uh, fit and choose here separate units uh, that way blender will display uh, lengths using both a feet and inches let me get back to metric and i'll be using meters now one of the first uh, options that you have here to display lengths in blender is use the overlays uh, they work in edit mode if i open here my mesh uh, edit mode overlays, we will find that we have an, uh, an option here or an area with a few uh, tools that we can enable the edge length, uh, the edge length, edge angle, face area and face angle. If I enable this here, edge length, as you can see, you will start to see the length of any edge that you have selected in Blender. This is quite useful, but the downside is that you will be only able to see this in uh, edit mode. If you press the shift key, you can see multiple, multiple lengths. And one thing that you have to keep in mind when you are uh, dealing with lengths measurements in Blender, Blender was not uh, was never created to be a replacement for a CAD tool. It is primarily an animation software. It, many of the features and resources of Blender they have a focus to create animations, and because of that, we uh, you need to keep track of one important setting or one important feature for each one of your models, which is the scale factor. The scale factor helps with animation, but it can be troublesome for uh, design work. Let me show you what I mean by scale factor. If I select this, this plane here, press Shift D, Y, and apply a scale factor of 0 0.5. If I just type 0 0.5, enter. And as you can see, if I open here my sidebar, in the scale, I have a scale factor applied. It's a 0 0.5, and if I select this other plane here, it's showing one. 
If I go into edit mode and select an edge, it's showing two meters. That's correct. If we see here the dimensions, it's showing two meters. But if I select this plane here, go into edit mode and select any of the edges, and it's, uh, it, uh, it's showing two meters, which is clearly wrong. It's not, they are on the same plane. We are into an orthographic projection, so it should be one meter. As you can see, we can see that it has one meter, but our overlays is showing two meters. Why? Because we have a scale factor applied of 0 0.5. To reset this scale factor, you have to either press Ctrl A or go into Object, Apply, Scale. The scale factor was reset uh, to one. Now I'm seeing here uh, one meter, which is the correct length. You should always uh, keep in mind uh, the scale factor, especially if you are making uh, scale transformations in Blender. When I have uh, someone on uh, from a workshop or a class that I'm giving, and this person asks for help uh, about um, distances not showing up correctly in Blender, the first thing that I always check is the scale factor. Let me erase this and we can start looking at other options. If you want, you can enable here other tools like edge angle. You can enable face area and face angle. This works for faces. If I select this, as you can see, you will, be, uh, you will see uh, the area and angle of face corners. Let me disable those options and we can start with uh, work with uh, something else, which is the measure tool. The measure tool is, uh, is part of your toolbar. It's this button here. And this is an incredible tool. If you enable the, the measure, if you click and drag your mouse, you will be able to draw a ruler. This will measure the distances between the first and last point you click. One of the downsides of using the ruler is that if you select uh, any other tool, the ruler will, uh, will disappear. You have to click into the measure again to make it show up. And to select and move your ruler, you will be using those small lines here at the start and end. If you click and drag at the middle, it will break the ruler and it will start showing an angle. So I will select this part, press delete to remove it. And with the measure tool, you can use a snap feature. You can use the snap, uh, the snap feature of Blender to help you capture key points of a model. For instance, let's measure from this point to this point, from this vertex to this vertex. If you press and hold the control key, you see that Blender will, uh, will start to try to grab key points from your, from your edges. In this case here, I have a square, which means a vertex. A triangle, it's the edge center. You can try to grab the closest. Just created a ruler here. Press Ctrl again. Let's say I want to measure from this point to this point. If you press and hold the Ctrl key, it will be really easy to grab those, those points. And it works outside of edit mode. You don't really need to be into edit mode and you can add multiple rulers. For instance, let's uh, measure from here and this point. Uh, if I want to get the angle of this, line you can i'm pressing and holding the control key i can click at the middle of the ruler press and hold the control key and try to grab this vertex let's try to move let's try to measure the distance from this point here until the middle of this edge here at the bottom and here we can try to measure, for instance, from this point to this point, and I want to get the angle 
between these two lines. And you can even go uh, beyond this by aligning your ruler to an axis. For instance, let's say I want to measure from this vertex until the intersection of this edge here, which is somehow tricky here in Blender because we don't have an intersect, uh, an intersect snapping mode. But we can do this by trying to create the ruler from this point. A square means it captures a vertex. And if you are, uh, while you are creating or drawing the ruler, you can press X, Y, or Z to uh, constrain your, your ruler to an axis. In this case, I'll be pressing X and it will try to grab, if I press and hold control, it will try to grab the closest point to that, which is uh, clearly not the closest point. Let me try again. Well, like I said, uh, we don't have an intersection option. In this case, the easiest way to measure this distance is with uh, something that uh, I call a temporary object, which can be an edge. In this case, you can select this vertex and I will be enabling the auto merge and the split edges. This is, uh, uh, you can enable this option from the sidebar. And if I extrude this, pressing the E key, X, and make an intersection here, as you can see, based on the auto merge and split edges and faces, Blender created automatically a vertex here, which I can use to measure. Now, if I use my measure tool, I can just click, drag, and get my measure, my ruler exactly to that point. And this is it. This is how you can measure uh, basically almost anything here in, uh, in Blender, especially if you are trying to use it as a CAD tool. I hope you like the content. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up for this video. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye.